Hi everyone, welcome in. My name is Dave Major and welcome to another Drum Central Lick lesson. Uh, today we're going to chat through a Todd Zuckerman Lick. Um, as always, the PDF is below for you to check out and follow along as I go. So let's get straight into it. So the lick itself is relatively simple, like most of these things are. It's a paradiddle diddle, but what makes it interesting is the subdivision and the orchestration. Usually your paradiddle diddle, which if you don't know, is right, left, right, right, left, left. Usually six notes long equals eighth note triplets or sixteenth note triplets, which would be one triplet and triplet, two triplet and triplet, para diddle diddle, para diddle diddle. Todd plays it through 30 second notes and also instead of playing the accent on the toms and the inner beats on the snare drum, we play the accent on the snare drum and the inner beats on the hi-hat. So it takes on a kind of a, a groove ornamentation kind of lick instead of being a total all-out fill. So through 30 second notes, we're going to fit a grand total of five paradiddle diddles plus two notes at the end, which would be para diddle diddle 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 did it at the end. So I'll try that and we'll see how it works. Now Todd moves this, the accent between the first tom and the snare drum, but you can chuck up on a crash cymbal and a splash cymbal, floor toms, whatever you want. It's more of a concept than it is a, an exact lick. So I'll try that and I'll start moving it around the toms. So let's try that lick and we're going to try it about 75 beats a minute, which is a bit nippy, but we'll see. So let's try that lick now, but we'll try it now at 85 and see how it gets on. And now finally, let's try it up to speed at 95 beats a minute. Now you don't always have to start it on the one. In the demonstration at the start, I was kind of starting it in different places. In order to understand where to start it, we just need a bit of basic maths. If this lick is six notes long, let's say we want to fit it in four times. If we were to do four of these, that would be 24 notes. So if we start that on the beat, we'll end up stopping if we play one extra note on beat four of the bar. So really slow, it sound like this. Now that we're on beat four, we could maybe do a 40 and a flag of doom, or we could have a 40 and a at the end, or you can even just have a nice big stop at the end. We could do the same principle, but maybe think what happens if I start it on beat number or the and of two? How many would I be left with? All these sort of odd notes into even groupings or even grouping, even notes into odd groupings, it's just a little bit of maths to help you work it out. So I'll just jam out at 95 and we'll, I'll start starting it in different places and you can see the different effects that this groove can or this lick can create.
So that's it. A simple rudiment orchestrated in a new, different way from what we're used to. Especially that way, it's more of a, a kind of a subtle groove ornamentation than an all-out fill. But I hope you like it. Remember to hit subscribe because we've got some great videos coming up soon. And I'll see you next time.